हेलो एवरीवन लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ आवर न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज वेलडेड कनेक्शन हियर इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द वेलडेड कनेक्शन हाउ इट इज वर्क इट्स एडवांटेज एंड डिसएडवांटेज एंड फॉर द वेलडेड कनेक्शन how can we find out the length of welding to resist the force in this lecture we will discuss about the advantages and disadvantages about the welded connection so we know about the welded things and how welding done that we have seen surrounding of us where welding is done now let's start welding is a method of connecting two pieces of metal by heating to a plastic or fluid state which or without press the various process of an arc welding that are used in structural steel applications are as under shield metal arc welding submerged arc welding gas shield metal arc welding this welding is the various systematic types number 4 electro slag welding flux core arc welding and stud welding we know about the welding for that we have to discuss the thing how the metal will be melted by the electrode that you have seen in many places now which are the advantages and disadvantages of welded connection so for that first we have to starting about the advantages the welded connections eliminate the need for making holes in the member therefore the effective section of the member is not reduced this has a great advantage in the case of tension member design dear students as we discussed in bolted connection there are needs of create a hole in a member but in this welded connection there is no need of making a hole in a plate so the tensile strength is not reduced so we can get the full strength of plate in the welded connection now number 2 is the structure has a less weight as compared to bolted connection because if we are going to do bolted connection there are needed the connection by the bolts and we know there is a some weight of bolt but in this case there is a we are, if we are going to do welding then there is no need of bolt so we can reduce our structural weight then welding process is quick and save time of construction you know the welding is very fast process so we can reduce the time in connection of each and every member number 4 the welded structure are more rigid air as compared to bolted connection there is a, a connection between two plates the welding is merging that plate with the help of welding and due to that we can get maximum rigidity at the junction number 5 noise produced is very less therefore suitable for residential and silent areas you know uh, if we are going to connection the members with the help of bolt then there should be needed sometimes hammering on bolt for the connection but in the case of welded connection there is no need of hammering so we can welding without noise number 6 welding is practicable even if the completed shape of joint in bolted connection the appearance of bolt at the joint is every time we can see but in welded connection 
we can merge the two plates by smoothening and we can uh, it it can give us the good appearance welded connection give better appearance that i discussed earlier now the disadvantages there are some of the disadvantages of welded connection is there that we have discussed with number one welding requires high skill person normal labor can't do the welding if suppose i am talking about myself i am i can't do welding because for that we should have proper skill of welding because there need of earthing and the heating process all that things are there number 2 the inspection of welded joint is difficult and expensive sometimes some of the connection is failure due to welding and leakage is done over there so at that time it we can't take judgment of where from where it is a uh, failure number 3 costly equipments is necessary to make the welding you know uh, for the connection of welding that should be a electrode with that uh, welding equipments are needed so it is very much costly as compared to bolted connection because in bolted connection we need bolts and nut for that number 4 welded joints are brittle and have less fatigue strength you know if we are going to demolish the bolted connection we should we must have to that bolted connection by the removing of nut but for the welding we are hammering on the connection and that connection is break easily so there is less fatigue strength in welded joint number 5 members jointed by welding may distort due to heating of member sometimes if we are going to the welding connection we know there is a heating produced due to that heat members are the short number 6 welding at the site may not be feasible due to lack of power supply if our site is some of the remote places and if we don't have the power supply at that spot so at that time we cannot do the welding connection so this is the most important drawback of welded connection now types of weld for the welding connection we have to clear idea about the types there are four some basic type of welding first one is groove weld second one is fillet weld third one is spot weld and fourth one is plug weld let's start with into uh, some of the important points for the this groove weld the groove will be made in two plates that we have to connect by this kind of groove you can see over here and this groove is filled by the welding by hitting these two connecting plates so this is called as a groove weld now fillet weld fillet weld is most important for the structural design in each and every case we must go for this kind of connection that known as fillet weld in this connection we should have right angle connection place without right angle place we can't do the fillet weld slot weld in this case we are going to do just one slot at this point and in this case we are going to fill that welding at particular spot and plug weld it is also like that slot weld in that case we are going to do normal drilling in the connected plate so these four types are welding types and in structural design we always prefer the fillet weld as a welding now this is types there are number of types in groove weld this all figure indicate the different types of groove welds in first weld there is a square pattern right then after 
single V bot, top and bottom both V generated by us, single U bot joint, double U bot joint, single battle bot, groove uh, double bevel bot, single J and double J bot. These are the groove welding types and it is used sometime in particular structure but majorly uh, what we are going to do we always take the connection by the fillet weld and this another type of fillet weld this kind of detail is done by the groove weld now fillet weld this is the most important for us if we are going to do connection with the help of fillet weld then fillet weld are widely used in structural engineering application as we discussed fillet welds are widely used in structural engineering application due to their economy and ease of application it is very much easy to connect two plates or members with the help of fillet weld there are approximately triangular in cross section as i discussed if there are some particular angular form between two plates then and then we can do this kind of fillet weld so it must be triangular in cross section fillet welds are most suitable in the following cases two elements meeting at an angle as we discussed between angle and russet plate number three between flange and wave plate and we know what is flange what is wave if i discussed something about the i section in that case the top and bottom top and bottom of horizontal plate that i section is called as a flange and the vertical member is known as a wave number four beam bearing plates for the connection there are needed the bearing plate to bear the shear force and for the connection of that we must go for the fillet well number five between bracket and column it is most important for the beam to column connection number six between beam and column where the connection between beam and column that should be uh, welding is done by the fillet weld number seven between column and base plate it is most important thing if we are going to do the steel structure for a building or for industrial building there should be a foundation must be done by rcc but for connection of that rcc foundation and the column of steel there should be a plate between that that plate is known as a base plate and that base plate is connected by the welding number eight for the slotted connection as we discussed sometimes slot is generated over there and we should be go for the slotted connection so this kind of activity is act in our structure then we must go for the fillet weld this kind of fillet weld is done over where the first wheel angle and the gusset plate this is our gusset plate and this is our angle which is connected by the welding which is indicated here by the dark line this is column bracket and in this bracket this column is also a steel member this bracket is also a steel member and the two member is connected by this dark line as a welding this connection is beam to beam connection this is our i section of beam and this is also i section of beam these two member is connected by the this cleat cleat angle and the cleat angle is welded by the dark line now slotted connection sometimes the length of welding is very much higher at that time the surface length of 
member is not reachable that length at that time we must have to provide slot between that member and we will do the welding is somewhere over here and we can maintain the required length of welding this is beam bearing plate this is i section as a beam and this is our plate column base plate as we discussed this is our vertical i section of column and this is our plate that plate is connected by the member with the help of welding is indicated over here with dark line this is our built up section sometimes the i section is not readily available in market so we have to make that i section at on site with the help of welding which is indicated over here in the triangular shape and this is the plate connection with some member so this kind of fillet welds are done by us on site with the help of welding connection now these are the symbols of welding for the purpose of which kind of welding is done over there so it is most important for the engineer as well as the contractor so we can explain that this kind of welding is done at particular junction the standard welding symbols used on a drawing for the different type of weldings are shown in below this is fillet weld this is concave fillet weld sometimes the straight this kind of angle we are going to generate it by the welding but it is smoothening by the internal curve then butt welding the square butt v butt bevel butt u butt j butt flat v this kind of welding we are using butt welding now so this symboling pattern must be indicated in every drawing for the on site welding connection now it is the notation that used in a drawing for the welding this arrow is indicated that we you have to done welding over this point only right this symbol is known as field weld symbol means you have to do welding on site sometimes our welding must be done at factories but some of the connection can't be done at factory we must have to do that welding at site right this is the size of welding means length sometimes we are going to weld two members with intermediate space between them means what here indicated we have to done length of 50 mm welding then leave the 100 mm for next welding after that done 50 mm welding left 100 mm right this is the fillet weld with concave and the six is indicated is the size of welding how the dimension of that welding required clear good now as we discussed this is our symbol in pattern and i have discussed this the side below what it is indicated a circle what it is indicated the site of weld near the fork on the horizontal line that i this all the things is indicated by a symboling pattern that we have discussed now properties how the fillet weld works right so this two plate is welded for the connection and it makes an right angle between there so this area is filled by the welding by heating this two plate first plate is heated somewhere over here and this plate is melted somewhere over here by this welding this whole portion is melt and it is uh, together and it will create a 
hard things there so from this kind of connection we are going to do at the site using fillet welding now for the welding we have to clear idea about the size of welding it is most important thing for the resisting of force that can be resisted by welding so the size of normal fillet weld shall be taken as minimum welding leg size the size of fillet weld should not be less than 3 mm nor more than the thickness of thinner part means yahan hum 3 mm se kam kabhi bhi welding nahi kar sakte but maximum kahan tak kar sakte hain jahan tak member ki thickness ho yani smallest thickness of that two plate which we have to connected by the welding so if our plate size is up to 10 mm then minimum size should be 3 mm if our plate is from 10 to 20 then minimum 5 mm welding should be 10 20 to 32 then 6 mm 32 to 50 then it is 8 mm right 10 mm for the minimum size of welding clear so this kind of minimum welding should be used for each and every welding connection now the most important part that is throat thickness it is inclined line from the right angle corner to the our edge of the welding the throat thickness of all fillet weld the shortest distance from the root of the face the belt the effective throat thickness of a fillet weld shall not be less than 3 mm and shall not exceed 0.75 times of this size of welding where a is the size of welding so the effective throat thickness is equal to k into size of weld that k is the constant and it is 0.7 for actual our all the cases means this is our vertical length this is our horizontal length and this inclined length is known as a throat thickness which is 0.7 into s right so if length is going to give strength of the welding so the equation for that throat thickness is pt is equal to 0.7 into s s is the minimum size of welding now end return if we are going to do connection of two plates at that time the length of welding must be done by two side of the plate but for the shearing purpose it should be do some welding at the edge of the plate and that edge of the plate welding is known as end return the fillet weld terminating at the ends or side of the part should be returned it continuously around the corner for the distance of not less than the twice of the size of weld means end return is greater than 2s there s is the size of welding that we have discussed right for the getting maximum size of the welding you should have to go for the page number 80 on is 800 there is given that the size of maximum welding must be the thickness of plate minus 1.5 that 1.5 is that 1.5 is the clearance for the plate now overlap in case of lab joint the minimum lab should not be less than the four times of the thickness of the thinner part or four times means we have to take overlap minimum 40 mm or 
the smaller thickness of this plate into four times whichever is more we have to take the more distance between there as a over here clear now the effective length or area of welding the effective length of fillet weld shall be taken as only the length which is specified size and required for thickness the minimum length of fillet weld is four times the size of weld that we discussed intermediate weld the fillet welds can be provided with continuously intermediately effective length of the intermediate weld should be taken as a larger 4 into size and a 20 mm okay. the clear spacing between the effective length of intermittent fillet weld shall not exceed 12 12 into thickness for compression and 16 into thickness for a tension right so we have to do this much overlap for the connection now groove weld that we know we have to make groove over here and it can be filled with the welding and melting of this plate and this groove must be done by us and the cost of that groove is more as compared to fillet weld okay now for each and every case we must have to find out the length of fillet weld right and that welding length must be done by the using of force and throat thickness we know about the throat thickness but what is q that q is the strength of the welding and that welding strength must, must be calculated by this equation which is given on page number 79 in is 800 2007 if we are going to put that value in code we are getting the two value of the design strength of the welding one is for a shop welding and another is for field welding for the shop welding it is 189 newton per mm square and for fillet weld it is 158 newton per mm square so whenever we want to find out the welding con connection for that we must have to find out the length of welding that welding length is finding by the equation of we have to make this as a master means lw is equal to p upon tt into fa this fa is known as fwd means p upon tt into fwd fwd having two value for shock welding and for field weld tt is getting from the size of weld which is between maximum size and minimum size and this force is given and it is we have so we have to find this length of welding and we are going to learn that welding connection by finding out the length of welding so for the getting clear idea in next lecture we are going to discuss on particular case as an example so you should get the clear idea about that okay thank you